will be joined by their team leader, originally from Bolivia, but he was a tennis player there in the homeland. Gold in Sacramento, please welcome Jim Cario. Welcome back to the APP Blastic Classic Delray Beach Men's Doubles Gold Medal Match. On tap for you on this beautiful Saturday evening, taking a live look at Andre Diascu. Getting warmed up with his partner Gabe Tardio to take on J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier. Diascu, a name that pickleball fans have known for quite some time for his prowess on championship court. A lot of gold medals taken home. In the APP tour, 20 of them last year alone, most in the APP. Well, it's well 20 of them, are, it's relevant because of the fact that 20 of them were in doubles alone. Yep. <laughs> Doesn't play singles. In 15 events. Yes. So a very, very good pickleball player is Diascu, and he's paired up with Gabe Tardio. Not as familiar to fans of the APP tour, but... Let's get him familiar. What do you like about this game? Well, Gabe Tardio, Andre Deascu, a great partnership so far this season. Playing well together. Gabe Tardio almost feeding off of the calmness of Andre Deascu. And that's exactly what Gabe Tardio needs. He needs someone solid on the left side, someone he can count on, and then he can be free and do what he does best. And then they are taking on J.W. Johnson and his partner, Dylan Frazier, JW 65 APP medals since 2020. Dylan Frazier, 40 since 2020. That's a lot of medals. It is. It is. And they, you know, they started out on the APP. They cut their teeth. And to tell you that they have some of the fastest hands in this game is not a understatement. Because in their semifinal, they just controlled everything. They went on a 20-0 run, taking game one 11-0, and then were up 9 nothing until <laughs> DeHart and Lloyd got a couple of points. But look for them to really apply the pressure. Now, the interesting thing is, is both these teams like their opponents to attack them. So, who is going to take the initiative to be the aggressor to get into those hands battles? Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson won the gold in Miami. They also won the gold here in Delray Beach in 2022. Yeah, that's correct. Last time we were here. Back in the day. Back in the day. All of two years ago. Hey, a lot has changed on the pickleball so landscape much. in two years. So much. You are not wrong. Fastest growing sport in America. And we're seeing the level of play rise, it seems like, every time we see players step on the court and not, not better exemplified than the two teams here. I think the pace of play from the last match to this match is going to be totally different. This is going to be slower paced, a lot of dinking, because all four players understand the hand quickness. Yeah, they respect yes. the hands. We may have to get a dink counter on this one. <laughs> I was just going to say, you were talking about the respect. That was a lot of patience shown <laughs> on that point. <laughs> but as soon as there's a ball that is elevated, that ball landed a foot inside wow. the baseline. So when shifting at the back now of Deascu and Tardio, and that ball died in the wind. Diascu doing a good job getting that ball down at the feet of Frazier. Frazier tried to jump over it knowing Johnson was back there, but it clipped his foot. 0 3 1. 0 3 1 for serve. Good lead there by Tardio. You heard Diascu, the 35 year old, tell him that ball's probably heading out. So get out of the way. And Tardio doing a good job doing that.
finish there from Frazier, forehand winner. And that's the spot right there on Diascu. He has very few spots that you can attack, but that is one of them, tying up the arms and shortening, jamming that forehand. Oh, and a rare miss on a backhand dink there from J.W. Johnson. He felt it as soon as it hit his paddle because he really tried to, like, push it up and over. Ooh, okay, Tadio oh, going at it. Now, these guys train together all the time. The look, but oh. every time they play against each other as well, it gave tries to chest JW's hands. So that's where, on the side of J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier, the speed-ups more than likely are going to come from. It's going to come from Dylan Frazier. He's going to initiate more than J.W. is. Nice. Place lead there from J.W. Johnson right at the feet of target. You know what I'm going to say, right? Like, as... as they ask you pop that ball up. Tardio is moving crashing. forward. He's putting the pressure on it. He <laughs> wants to just throw a paddle on it. <laughs> He's got to stay back in midcourt. Catch him by surprise. That ball's in as well. Oh, they called it out. Oh, no. Okay. They ask you called it out initially, but it was in. I think he was just saying no as far as let it go. Not not the actual out call, but. So it's a tie game here in game number one. Oh. oh. Two. Two off the body there of J.W. Johnson. Another look here. Well, you want to talk about a spot that J.W. Johnson is susceptible. It's that right armpit as well. Nice Ernie there from Diascu. Frazier got jammed up a little bit right there. I don't well, think he was expecting the speed up from J.W. And Johnson. that's where he just said, you know, my bad. Usually, Frazier is all over that because Frazier and Johnson work so well together and complement each other on those speed ups. Big finish, yeah, big finish right there from J.W. Johnson as he steps in. But it's again, it's the initiation from Dylan Frazier. He starts it up, J.W. Johnson steps in the middle and finishes. Dylan Frazier, 22 years old, started playing pickleball at 14, competing at 17. Johnson says, if you're going to test my hands, I'm more than ready to ace but, it. But again, he's crashing on balls that are high. Tardio's got to play smarter right now. If those balls are up, he's got to retreat a little. Retreat a little, set your feet, give yourself some more time to see the ball. You don't have anything to prove here. Well, the other part of it, though, earlier today, the teams that they were playing, the movement was putting the pressure on enough that those players, their, their opponents would look up to see what was happening. Right. Johnson and Frazier aren't going to look up. They're going to execute and not even worry about the movement. They're going to hit the shot they want to hit. Up there from Andre Diascu just puts too much lift on it. 
he jumped. That's Frazier. Yeah, he jumped, and that elbow was also up as well. So he's pushing down on that ball. If that elbow drops just a little bit, he's now hitting linear, and that ball's going straight back at Diascu. Quickly pushed onto their second serve, though, or Diascu and Tardio trailing 4 5. Here in this first game, best two out of three to 11 in our men's doubles gold medal match. But again, it's the spot on Johnson. The one spot that he is susceptible is at the right shoulder. If you can get it there before he clears anything. And that's twice that they've got him there. That's, no, go ahead. I was just going to say, Diasco and Tardio are doing a good job there engaging in the firefight and then getting the better side of it. Again, John. So, we just saw this in women's doubles with Sister Georgia. Standing a little too tall, letting that ball get deeper, not anticipating to the full extent that they typically do. Oh, it's in as well. He's got it. Singles. Get out. Oh, what a my. recovery there by Frazier and Johnson. <laughs> Dylan Take another Frazier look. was in the DJ all the booth. Way back. He's in the DJ booth. Unbelievable recovery there from Dylan Frazier. Unreal. He ended up Sheesh. by DJ Mez and then has to come all the way back and play, and you go, singles. Thank goodness J.W. Johnson is a good Johnson singles player. And, and he threw up the lob to give Frazier the time to get back into the court. Smart. Oh. Yeah, he rushed it. It was there. He was trying to hold it for as long as he could, and then it flattened out on him. So second serve here, Frazier. With the 5-7-2 serve. Andre Diascu with the Ernie and doing a good job getting over that ball. Hey, he's throwing just stuff to put into, it into the Whoa. kitchen. Yeah, he got Whoa. over it and that ball flew just about as far as your pen did right pen now. In the booth. <laughs> you were trying to show everybody at home. Camera wasn't rolling, I didn't know. Mm. Gets him off the leg right there. But how about the save, the counter on the back end? This one right there. Yeah. Perfect reset. Goodness. Tadio was sitting on that back end, waiting for Johnson to come at it. Eight five, 8 5 lead here. Tardio with the serve. Oh, oh. so this is where you kind of have to swallow some pride right here and stop trying to over hit and hit through Diasco and Tardio like they want. So Diasco and Tardio with a 9 5 lead here in game number one. Timeout called on the court. We'll have live action. Right here from Delray Beach when we come back on the other side of this break.
Welcome back to CBS Sports Network. Tomorrow morning at 7 Eastern, gear up for a table-topping showdown as Europe's elite ad adversaries meet face-to-face -face in the Old Firm Derby right here on CBS Sports Network. Game one, back in action. Yeah, just, they're just unorthodox right now for Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson. They just look off kilter right now. Game point opportunity here for Diascu and Tardio. What an angle taken there by Dylan Frazier on the overhead winner. Andre really goes inside out forehand as they save a game point. Get the ball back on their side, trailing by five. J.W. Johnson trying to cut that lead. Yeah, good spot there from Johnson. Again, elevating into that right shoulder, right armpit area of Diascu. Just doesn't roll it enough. It flattens out there for Frazier. He gets on top of it, but just slaps at it. That's such a good setup from Dylan Frazier. He goes inside out, speed up, knows that Dask is going to block that, and then punishes that ball back to the left foot. 7 10 2 for Frazier's serve. Dink left short by Dyescu, and immediately he wants a timeout as Frazier and Johnson put together three quick points. Well, and in this situation right here, it's a it's a good timeout from Diascu. You don't want to have that con that run continue and only give you that one point cushion. There was that firefight between Frazier and Diascu. He had the one two combo where he started it up, but like you said, Chad, you like the two point cushion, obviously better than the one point cushion. But here's the thing now, if Tardio and Diascu hold here, get the ball back. I hate saying it. I do. I really do. You have to score and you have to end this game. If you don't and you give the ball back yep. to Dylan Frazier and JW Johnson oh, you, after you winning can't two, straight, them another two straight rallies, yeah. right. then you're giving them an opportunity and they are too good for you to continue to have game points on your side and not finish. You have to finish. In that situation, Johnson and Frazier would have defended three game points successfully, so then you feel like the confidence would have shifted to their side of the court, even if they still trailed. Oh, that's a very Ooh. uncommon speed up there for Diascu, especially with it being flat out. A little bit of frustration coming out, looking for more body than actual court. there from Johnson, but Diascu hitting a ball that, are you questioning, Dom? No, 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 no absolutely not. It's just good patience yeah. right there from Fraser and Johnson. But, but and this there's is what, tightness between yeah. all four right now. Yeah. You, you can tell that it's not as loose. Oh, that's a good attack and counterattack there for Diascu. It almost felt like the first few points of a match where the teams are feeling, yeah, feeling each, each other, other out. Yep. And now it's just as we get to the end of this really critical game one, it's almost a feeling out process again. Who's going to be the aggressor? Who's going to try and end this? And who's going to stay patient? 
So it's a side out here. Gabe Tardio with the serve. Flick from Johnson catching Diascu in transition. And the key was that Frazier and Johnson tied it up. So it's no longer right. game point. It's 10 10. Got to win by two here. Just a little bit wide, so a really critical hold there for Johnson and Frazier. And they don't get on the board. And all the momentum back to Frazier and Johnson. Oh, well, it's too much there from Frazier. So I like that he's coming forward and he's trying to put pressure on, but it's so difficult to speed up on the move with that ball being so low. The hands <laughs> off the tape right there. That was incredible get from Gabe Tardio to just stay in that point and then ends up with the counter on his paddle. So no points on that service side for Johnson and Frazier. No damage done for Diascu and Tardio. Nah, that's mm -mm, mm -mm. that's that's not the spot. That's not the ball. That's, and that's Gabe Tardio. Yeah, that's high risk. <laughs> Going straight for the body, trying to trying to say, hey, look what I can do. I'm going to overpower you. Tough to do in this situation. Johnson yep. leaves the cross court dink little short. He didn't know what to do, whether yeah. to take it out of the air or let it bounce. Late decision to let it bounce and got jammed. And so it's a game point opportunity here for Diasco and Tardio. flipping that one into the net. I'm, I'm actually surprised there wasn't a recall right there. A little bit of static or something coming out of the speakers from the DJ booth. The play continues, so it'll be a side out here. Frazier and Johnson with the opportunity to tie things up.
Ionescu finishing that with a quick flip into the body of Johnson. Gets a paddle on it, but sails outside. Yeah, it just didn't look like Johnson was ready for that one either. They, all four players have kind of lulled themselves to sleep with that dinking rally. Tommy doesn't miss it. What Ready a, for that one was Johnson. But what a cover because Frazier slid to the backhand and Frazier covered in the middle. I thought it was supposed to go at Frazier. The get right there from Frazier to keep him into the point. And then right here, it kind of it wasn't a full commit on the speed up from Diescu either. in there from Diascu. Right shoulder, and that's the third time we've seen it in this game. That's the spot. 11, 11, so it's Diascu with the serve, all tied at 11. Must win by two. Yep, oh. that's in the middle. Cross body. Diascu sitting a little heavier on the backhand side. Good reaching, good roll there from Frazier. So on to their second serve, Gabe Tardio with it. Instead into the net on the third, and so it'll be a side out. Frazier, but then Diascu, no, leaving no doubt. I mean, the coverage from, from Diascu right there goes for the Ioni, gets back into the court, stays in the point. 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. So a timeout called on the court, I believe, by Diascu and Tardio. Yes, it was. So, so far we're at like a 45 minute game. <laughs> <laughs> so tie game Correct. right now here, 11 11. And it's Diascu calling an offensive timeout here as they're yes. about to get the ball back. Walk me through why you like that, Don. Well, again, here, they get the ball back. Now they call the offensive timeout, trying to regroup here and trying to get back on and relax, right? He's sure. telling the young guy right now, hey, relax, let's get this, let's draw this point out, let's look for our point of attack here. You got French fries on the scoreboard, 11 <laughs> 11. <laughs> And we are looking to for eat. a winner here. We're looking, We're looking to eat, to eat We're looking right to now. Eat here. The 35-year-old Diascu is certainly always looking to eat with that wide wingspan. He has a tendency to put these balls away. Can he do it here? Partnered up with the 18-year-old Gabe Tardio. It's going to be Diascu with the serve. Oh. Johnson says, no dinner for you yet. <laughs> Not a team willing to back down. 
ball will come back eventually. Here it comes. <laughs> so it'll be Tardio now with the second serve. 11-11-2. Rushed it. It was there. Johnson just tried to flick it a little too quickly. Flattened out. So game point opportunity here. Tardio with the serve. And the finish there from the 18-year-old Gabe Tardio to put away game one, 13-11 for himself and Andre Diascu. What a men's doubles gold medal match. <laughs> we have on our wow. hands here. We'll be right back after this quick break. If you're new to pickleball, it doesn't get much better than this men's doubles gold medal match. Game one goes away of Andre Diascu and Gabe Tardio. 13-11. We have game two coming up next. But here on CBS Sport Net Sports Network, coming up next, we're serving up some world-class competition as we bring you an all-new league made by players for players. Don't miss the Orlando Valkyries taking on the Grand Rapid Rise in the Pro Volleyball Federation. But you don't want to miss this pickleball. If you want to join us for the conclusion of this men's pro doubles gold medal match, join us on YouTube. APP TV, we're going to have game two coming your way live on YouTube in just a moment. So join us over there. Thanks for watching on CBS Sports Network.
beautiful day for pickleball on the APP Tour. Thanks for joining us back here at Delray Beach. A beautiful afternoon here in the Sunshine State. And my goodness, have we had some fantastic pickleball here on Championship Court. Men's doubles gold medal match. Game one goes the way of Andre Diescu and Gabriel Cardio. But it was hard fought, you guys. I mean, absolutely incredible. Match should have been over a while ago, but <laughs> it took forever because these teams just wouldn't give in. It was patience, it was waiting for the right opportunity to attack, but then in the end, Teescu and Tardio coming out on top 13-11 in an epic game one battle. Oh, I mean, Jack. how about that get right there from Dylan Frazier? But yeah, they were pots in the, that each team kind of tried to fuel their egos a little bit, saying, hey, I can attack better than you. My hands are better than you. And they both kind of got away from the game plan. They dialed it back in, and we saw prolonged points. And so now it's up to Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson to answer here in this game two. If they want to force a decisive game three to decide who wins the men's doubles gold medal match. Game two. Game two. From Tardio just rubs it a tiny bit deep. I don't mind it. It Not wasn't bad. Push him back away from the kitchen line. Yeah, yeah I was about to say the same thing, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> Tyes was saying, oh my gosh, after that hit. I can't believe they missed it into the net. All over it, just cut off the swing. Nice spot there from Gabe Tardio, right at the feet of J.W. Johnson. Johnson now with the serve. Diascu leaving that dink short and two nothing two nothing start here for Frazier and Johnson. Frazier started it. Frazier wanted to finish it right there. Yeah, not for the overhead winner. Well, he tried to go for his typical one-two combo to Deescu, but Deescu's getting smarter on it. He slid to open himself up and clear, and he got the next one back, but couldn't really do much with it. So Johnson keeping the pressure on Deescu in that firefight. Gives him and his partner a 4 nothing lead here in game two. Uh, not not a bad shot right there. No, not a bad move, I should say. Was it a bad shot? Yes, he <laughs> overran it a little bit, went wide. But they're trying to step up the tempo right now, put the pressure on. They're not you know, allowing Diescu and Tadio to dictate as much of the pace. Oh. What some impressive resets in the middle of that point, but Frazier getting the final say. That backhand slap in the middle of that from J.W. Johnson, just all wrist. 
the strength, how incredible. speed up there from Frazier and Diescu more than ready for it yeah you see yeah. Johnson and, and Frazier talking to each other right there Johnson's like yes go there again I'll be ready for it he was just a little off balance on that speed up and that return goes a little deep there from Frazier from Tardio and then Diascu getting big for the overhead finish. Well, Tardio tried to call Diascu off that, but Diascu was already full <laughs> back swing. He, the, the no came after he had actually made contact. <laughs> Chance to tie things up here for Diascu well, and Tardio, and they returns. do. Two missed returns from Frazier. You see Frazier after that, he looks up and around. He's looking for the wind. I think he thinks there's some wind behind him right now. Ready for the around the post and the cross court. Tardio can't get there With in time. Extra sauce. We saw this the exact spin. Sheesh. Eric Lang in Sacramento did the exact oh, Millie same Rain thing. as well Millie and women. Rain as well. Unreal. We've seen that three times this year. The ATB defense winner cross court. Diescu kind of slapping at that ball, sails deep. So it'll be a lead here for Frazier and Johnson. Ending a 4 nothing run that Diascu and Tardio had put together. Tardio, yeah, Tardio just tried to rush that one. Reaching in, quick flick. Really wasn't there. That's an incredible counter from Andre Deescu right there. He punishes that fourth shot back. 6-4-2 for Johnson's serve. a good spot. Diascu letting that one go, but it just paints the baseline and extends this lead. Yeah, rolling that cross court, well, so I should say cross body, not cross court. Frazier makes it look like he's going to go down the line. So a timeout called here on the court by Diascu and Tardio. They trail by three here in this second game after taking a hard-fought first one, 13 to 11. What do you like about the timing of this time timeout, Dom? Well, again, you're trying to slow the momentum. It was a 4-0 run for Frazier and Johnson to start. Deescu and Tardio answer with a 4-0 run of their own. Now you have Frazier and Johnson with all that momentum back on their side. You're trying to just slow them down right now and, and, and kind of take something away from them as, you know, getting some advice in their corner are Tardio and Deescu, Alex. Pop Mondolvin over there. You known Alex was Andre's. Partner original partner when they came into the game. 
And Alex went away, moved to New York, worked with the USTA for a while, then moved back to Florida, and now he helps Andre train and practice a lot now. A very knowledgeable guy in his corner as much as he can be is Alex, and one of the best guys out there too. Uh oh, battery's going in. It's the Derek Prince's microphone right there. He's been out there a while for this match. <laughs> <laughs> Losing battery. Well, we are going on an hour. So out of the timeout, quick side out for Diascu and now Tardio with the serve. Hey! Right at the shoelaces of Johnson. Can't get that ball up and over the net again. Fired up Diascu. Oh, good read. Oh. Great hey. get there by Tardio, but then right in between them. No, I mean, that's a fantastic read by Tardio here. Going with the angle, but not able to get back into the court. Diasco not able to get over either. That's not something you say very often. Wow, well, when a ball's being hit that hard. <laughs> yeah. They ask you trying to go line there with that counter. It was open, but into the net. Resets Steve. in the middle of that point. Johnson was fully <laughs> elevated, full backswing, both feet off the ground. That's because, like, nah, I'll just block it back. No worries. excitement after getting yeah. that point. Roar, growl. That no, reset. I, that, uh, I'm throwing my hands up in the middle of that point because it's like, <laughs> what do you have to do to win a point around here? right there, right at the backhands of J.W. Johnson. Is he just sitting slap, slap? Well, I'm okay if Tadio speeds that up into the right hip even. Great placement kind of there. Frazier down the line. Johnson's now going to slap that cross court. But going at the left hip, tough one. So a side out here, no points added for Diascu and Tardio. On it right there. They asked we read it well. I think he took just a little too big of a backswing. <laughs> J 
KW took a full swing. Yep. <laughs> Missed. Frazier resets it. Eight, five, two. Helped out by the net and Tardio there to take advantage of the pop-up. No, it's an easy finish there for Tardio as JW tries to steal or speed that up right at Gabe Tardio. Tardio having none of it off the tape. Out of the way does Diascu get, and so it'll be a point here for Diascu and Tardio. Well, the reason that's a good speed up is because he gets on top of that and gets it low. He knows that if. Frazier tries to counter it. It's going to go long. He gets out of the way, and it does. Another great around-the-post defense from Frazier to keep him in that point, then JW putting it away. I mean, Don, we always talk about it. Like, three years ago, four years ago, around the post was a winner. Yeah, every time. Like it started to become more common, but it was around the winner. Now, it's your only option, and half the time, three-quarters of the time, it comes back. Nice one-two combo from J.W. Johnson. Again, knowing the block's going to come back even higher and then punishes that, but Chad, to hit on your point, yeah, it used to be, you know, back in the day when we played, the ATP was a winner. Oh, my gosh. So when I got one back, I was like, it was ecstatic. a miracle. <laughs> now it comes back all the time. We've seen some great displays of that even just today across the matches that we've had here at the APP Blastic Classic Delray Beach. Fraser and Johnson trying to extend their lead here in our men's doubles gold medal match. There from JW painting the baseline. Yeah, that's a good roll and a good spot there from JW. Goes cross body on Tadio. Diascu can't catch up to it either. spot there from Dylan Frazier going at that right hip of Andre Deescu jamming him up just enough enough that it sets up a game point opportunity here for Dylan Frazier and JW Johnson 10-6 they lead Deescu and Tardio who took a hard fought game one Frazier and Johnson trying to make sure that they push this thing to three yeah, and uh, again it's a great job from JW Johnson and Dylan Frazier, again, they've put a lot of pressure on. They jumped out of the gate with that 4-0 lead. It was all about pressure. Got a little X, Dave's cool in the middle. Allowed Deescu and Tardio to tie it up and get back in it. But right now, they're the ones initiating. It seems like ever since they start the initiation, they're coming out on top most of the time with those. So a good game plan going into this second game, trying to force a third game. And the interesting thing is when you were talking with Andre yesterday in another after another match he was talking about how he's super aware that pickleball is a game of runs and you just have to weather that storm so it's not like Diasco and Tardio are getting thrown off by the runs right. it's actually the play of Johnson and Frazier
play like that. Johnson right at the feet of Tardio to finish this second game off. 11 to 6. Frazier, Johnson take game two. So to a third, we head to decide who wins our men's doubles gold medal match. We'll find out after game three when we come back to Delray Beach. My name is Chef Jamoke Jackson. I'm here with Vlasic Pickles, and I'm putting the pickle back in pickleball. In pickleball, a chop is a slice from high to low to put a backspin on the pickleball. I'm chopping up Vlasic Pickles to make this sweet and savory chopped pickle salad. Feta cheese, Kalamata olives, olive oil, red wine vinegar, lemon juice, sugar, black pepper, toss to mix. Sweet, heat, and full of flavor. 18 years from tonight, Grant Gill will become a legend when he totally kills it at his improv class's graduation performance. Knees will be slapped, suds will be sprayed. People won't know what hurts more, their cheeks or their sides. That's why he's already keeping himself in shape and razor sharp today with health tips and wellness tools from AARP to help make sure his health lives as long as he does. Because the younger you are, the more you need AARP. APP is sponsored by Vlasic Pickles, official pickle of the APP Tour. AARP, helping your health and happiness live as long as you do. And Rainstorm, clean, plant-based energy. Welcome back to Delray Beach. Game two going the way of Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson. Well, they just brought the pressure from the beginning and did not let up. Well, maybe a little bit at the beginning they let up to let them back in, but a great job from J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier making an adjustment. Yeah, and that's what we didn't see from them in game one, and they need to continue it here in game three. Three. Worth noting game here, the time in Delray Beach, just about 7.30, and the sun has gone all the way behind the bleachers here on Championship Court. And the weather is lovely right now. It's quite pleasant, <laughs> but more importantly, no more shadows on the court, which we saw in that last highlight package of Game 2. We are now officially under the lights. Ugh, we love it on a Saturday night. Oh, just just out. That. Yeah. <laughs> Tasco had Frazier all turned around right there. One, zero, two. <laughs> good attack there from Diascu. A little stare One, down. Two. A little stare down from Diascu. Hey, you know. These Europeans are sometimes scary. Okay, most of the time. Yeah, scary. when he gets mad, <laughs> I don't want to meet Andre in a dark alley. Zero one two, zero one two, Diascu with oh, the serve. He's just a big teddy bear. Oh, oh that's that's what Tadio needs to reel himself in a little bit. We've, we've we're still seeing flashes of what you called the old Gabe Tadio, oh, yeah. and what we, what we meant by that is. Yo, just a little too loose with some of the shots. Well, and Chad, you were there for his 
first pickleball tournament in 2020. Yep. Your event in Tampa. That was. It was a Florida Grand Slam in Tampa, Florida. Simone and I used to run. String bean of a kid with glasses came out, played in the tournament. Everybody's like, what is this? And then by the end of it, they're like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> now here he is playing a men's doubles gold medal match, keeping his foot off the line, forehand extended for the winner. Well, great reach right there from Tardio, using every inch of that length to reach in. He goes full flamingo, one leg to reach in and take that. Diasco flipping that right into a perfect spot on Frazier. Can't get his paddle on it. Yeah, that's a good spot there from Diasco, hitting it into the, the movement, the slide of Frazier. That time, jo J.W. Johnson finds a spot behind Tardio. Slap, <laughs> slap, This has arms and paddles and everything going all over the place. Every which way. Uh, another quick flip. From Johnson into the body of Diascu. And again, it's the right spot. It's at that right hip. Jam up Diascu just enough. The adjustment Diascu makes right there. He knows the speed up's coming. He jumps and hops back about two feet off the kitchen line right there. Creates some space for his counter. Ten. Leave there from Diascu, but Frazier put enough shape on that ball for it to drop inside the baseline. Well, and he also didn't hit it too hard right there. I think Frazier thought it was going a lot harder than it actually was. Leaving that ding just a little bit short, so it'll be a point for Frazier and Johnson. Well, and here's the difference, too. As the weather and it gets later and it gets a little cooler, what happens, too, is these guys made it through a draw in the middle of the day when it was very hot. Yeah. The ball was much softer. Now as it cools down, the ball's going to get harder and it's going to play even a lot faster. So this is another adjustment these guys have to make throughout this match. Nice adjustment there, Johnson, finding a great spot down the middle. Oh, that's a bait ball right there. Is you see J.W. Johnson slide to the backhand, open up that backhand, and he knows where Tardio's going. He just slaps that back through the middle. So a timeout called on the court. Diascu and Tardio trailing by three. Want a minute to try and slow the momentum that Johnson and Frazier have built up. Chad, what do you like about what the duo of Frazier and Johnson are doing here to keep Diasco and Tardio on their heels. Well, they're, they're the ones that are controlling the tempo, though. They're the ones that are, well, I'm watching, I'm watching the guy slap the LED board off. Oh, <laughs> he put oh. it back in. Nope, oh. it's back out. Nope, it's back in. Nope, it's back out. It, it again. Oh, nope. dissipated in the blue. Uh. Nope, now it's back. Sorry. I'm getting, I'm, I'm like it. I'm like a cat with a, <laughs> with a thing going back around. Um, but no, we saw it in game two where Frazier and Johnson came out and put a little bit more pressure on. They set the tempo. They didn't, well, they let up a little bit, but, but for the most part, they didn't let up. And that's what they've done here in, in game three. Do I ask you, Antonio, yes, they need to counter. They kind of have to absorb some of these shots as well. But at the same time, they can't try to do too much. So out of the timeout, a quick side out for Diascu and Tardio. Andre with the serve. Oh, nice job by Frazier getting on top of that ball. And again, it's at the feet of Gabe Tardio.
Tardio with a well-placed ball there right around the knees of Frazier. Yeah, again, a tough speed-up spot from J.W. Johnson. Ball stayed low. Didn't really come up to him. Two four two. Two four two. Score for Tardio serve. That flip by oh, Dylan that Frazier is. just paints the sideline. Well, he sells it to with his body. Yeah. Watch him take his body to the middle. And just goes right down that line. It wasn't as much as I thought it was, but again, from here, it looked like it was. But he still is moving to the middle and then goes down that line. Yeah, from here, I didn't think we were going to see any blue between the sideline and that pickleball, but well inside. Four, two, two. Fight until JW Johnson gets on top of one. I mean, <laughs> rapid fire. Wham, wham, wham. And one, two, three. <laughs> Want to talk about short and compact? That's it right there. Up off the net into the body of Gabe Tardio. Yeah, nothing he can do right there. Again, Johnson speeds up right at him. Tardio tries to get out of the way, but off the net, off his body. Check a replay here. As that ball probably would have sailed long, but can't get out of the way. And it's a 6 2 lead on the end change here in game three for Frazier and Johnson. So Frazier and Johnson carrying the momentum that they started building in game two into game three here. What do you think is the most effective thing that they're doing to keep Diascu and Tardio off balance? Well, not only are they being aggressive, but they're hitting the right spots. And, and we, we talked about it at the beginning of this one, is that Johnson and Frazier have a really good ability of making adjustments quickly. Now, in game one, Diascu and Tadio were able to make the adjustments just as fast. Right now, Fraser and Johnson are able to move it around, hit the spots that they need to with, at the same time, keeping Diascu and Tadio off balance. And they really haven't been able to find anything to the feet of, of Fraser or Johnson. So it's a 6-2 lead here for Frazier and Johnson. There's some conversation here, a little referee timeout to deal with something happening on the court. So while we wait for them to figure things out, let's talk a little bit about just the momentum swings here into game three, Don. Well, yeah, I mean, right now, all the momentum on the side of Frazier and Johnson is they have the 6-2 lead on the end change. We'll see if the ends have anything to do with it as we resume play right here. So no big delay. 6-2-2. JW with the serve. There's a nice hand battle one from Andre Deascu. See if this gives them a little bit of that big mo we talk about, that being momentum on their side. Momentum and the ball. Tardio with the serve. Oh, and again, Dylan Frazier just hitting his spot so well. Like a good pitcher like Chad Edwards was, just hitting his spots. <laughs> that was also a guy that would brush it up and in the first pitch to open up the outside. So you, you were like the match prior to this where it was uh, 
Georgia Johnson going at the head yeah, of yeah, Joe yeah. Braverman. Yeah, I'd throw one at the chin and then paint, paint the outside. That's it. That's how you do it. It's, it's a way to do it. That's a better spot there from Dayasku. And it, he didn't hit it too hard either. That's a 50% speed up where it doesn't get on, on Johnson fast enough. Tardio misses that ball deep. So it will be a side out, but a good job out of the timeout for Diescu and Tardio. Get a few points on the board. Cut this lead to two. Andre Diescu cut it out. Diescu. Defense. But again, turning that defense into offense, you see him on that front foot on the backhand counter. Oh, and then J.W. Johnson trying to be perfect with the drop. Instead, it's a side out here. Gabe Tardio with the serve. That time Johnson getting the ball down at the feet of Tardio. Past him. So it'll be on to their second serve for Diascu and Tardio. Another look. Yeah, that ball not coming back. Tardio getting out of the way of that one. Great forehand there from Johnson. Good spot right there, Dylan Frazier pulling. Gave Tardio wide with that. Tardio just not moving his feet enough. Get around that dink. Oh, nice spot. Again, Diascu, when he puts that second hand on the paddle, you know it's gonna be a speed up, but this one he hides well. Going at it. Getting big, refusing to back down. And a very pro Tardio Deescu crowd here under the lights tonight at the Delray Beach Tennis Center. Oh, it was a good read from Tardio. He had the counter and then reads this. What's the wrist right here? Snap straight down. Yep. And he knows it. It was the right read. Good move from the youngster. Ooh, he's on that last one, but he's out front of it actually and pulls it wide. So a timeout called a here by timeout. Frazier and Johnson. We've been sitting at 6-4 for quite a few service sides here. Deadlocked in game number three. It's like there's a gold medal on the line or something. Frazier and Johnson going to get the ball back on their side, up by two. How do they get off of six and get a seventh point? Well, I mean, again, right now, I like the offensive timeout. You don't get that much from... Frazier and Johnson, almost a sign of respect for Deescu and Tardio and what they're doing, but I think they just want to discuss what's going on right now. What do we need to do? Because haven't scored since the end change. They scored all six on the other side of the court. Haven't scored one on this side. But again, it's been good pressure from Deescu and Tardio as they've kind of picked up their pace as well, Ted. Yeah, I mean... I like the movement from Tadio right now. I just feel like he's doing just a little too much. Diescu is dialed in, but if it, anybody can kind of reel Tadio in, 
and put him on the right track. It's Diascu. Nice spot right there, right to the feet of Frazier. And that's a good ball as well. Feeling the pressure to ask you coming on the Ernie. Yeah. So the offensive timeout not used effectively enough for, Tar for Frazier and Johnson. It's a side out here for Diasco and Tardio. And the backhand just a little too big there from Diasco into the net. Yeah, shoulders just came up a little too much on that one. there from Johnson at the feet of Tardio. I don't see it very often, but when he does, that was pretty. Now they look at this one. goodness it may not look like much in those dinking rallies right but it's the movement the footwork we saw both sides throwing out the fake Ernie's coming back in and then we get the miscommunication there in the middle Fourth and then Frazier off the edge guard long. What a way to win a service side there, win that hands battle, and now just like that, Tardio and Diescu get the ball back on their side of the net. When we first started this match, I felt like I was also holding my breath for some of those dinking rallies because yeah. you just don't know when it's going to end, and it's so tense you can feel it here in the stadium, and then I quickly realized if I held my breath for the entire rally, I, I would be passing out because that's how long <laughs> those goes. Right? Like, I, I'm, I'm but, a surfer. I can hold my breath for a no, minute. No, 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 no. But that, that, that is actually a thing, right? So a lot of, mm -hmm. a lot of people that we've worked with over the years, yes. they will hold their yeah. breath because they are uh, you know, so, so tense mm -hmm. or, or, or riding it through, and then they get done with a point and they're exhausted or they bail out because they're so tired they have to speed a ball up just to try to end the point because they can't go any longer. A 
and just to expand on that, Chad, you talk about it. We talk with everybody watching at home is when you're holding your breath too, what happens to your muscles? They tighten up, right? So the more you hold your breath, the more tense you get. And then what's going to happen when you hit a ball? You're going to pop it up, mm -hmm. right? Because you're tense, because everything's held in. And so you see that later in dinking rallies, especially on the amateur level when they don't know to breathe. Man on a mission. Again, wow. almost duplicated the spot right there from J.W. Johnson on Andre Diascu. Slides it into the middle right on that right side. Jams up the backhand. 7-4-1. J.W. Johnson with the serve. Yeah, rolls it in again. That's fourth time Frazier's done that mid-pace speed up where it looks like it's elevated. You let it go, it lands a foot in. That's just Beautiful. too good right there. And, and to be able to control that and not hit that out, that's the toughest thing right there is everyone can hit that, but when you do, it's all about control. I want to hit that at about 50% because it's all about the shock factor. You don't think your opponent's going to pull the trigger there, but they do, and they keep it in because they didn't hit it 100%. So an 8-4 lead here in game number three of our men's doubles gold medal match. And everything on the line for these guys, they're certainly playing, playing like it. As we see these points stay extended, everybody staying patient, waiting for the perfect opportunity for them to execute their game plan. With an 8 4 lead here for Dylan Frazier, JW Johnson, looking to be in control here in game number three. 8 4 1, score for Johnson serve. Well, he was on it. Good cover there from Daescu. Actually, didn't come back to the middle as hard, so got the forehand this time instead of being jammed up on the backhand side. Great flip there by J.W. Johnson just past the swinging paddle. Of Tardio. Well, he went right inside between the paddle and the hip. He goes to the right spot. It's a perfect shot there from J.W. Johnson to finish it. And this is where Frazier and Johnson are dangerous when they get a lead too, right? Because now they're going to take some more chances on their serve too, like they did right there, but that was a great counter from Andre Dascu. But Dascu and Tardio not to be counted out here. So it's a 5-9-1 score for Tardio. Make it six. So just like that, it had been six four for the longest time with Frazier and Johnson in the lead. Ayescu and Tardio though putting together a little bit of a run. Has to get closer here. And they do. <laughs> the key on that one too, yeah. Instantly time out. Time out. Time out. A key on that one right there, that point. Tardio hit a drop. He knew it was good off his paddle. Yeah. He told Daesh to go because he knew he hit a perfect drop. They went. Daesh to up at the kitchen line. Counter, counter, winner. And all of a sudden, it's a game here again. And just like that, what was a five-point lead has dwindled down to just two. 
Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson have controlled this entire third game here. But part of the reason they have been able to do that is because strategically they also understand how much they have to respect Diescu and Tardio. An example there with a timeout called. Sorry, I'm watching the, the repairs over there. Yeah, but, no. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> well, coming back in. Coming back in all the momentum here on the side of Gabe Tardio and Andre Deescu as they are back within two. Again, it looked like all the momentum with Frazier and Johnson, but Deescu and Tardio making this an interesting third game. Andre Deescu has more APP gold medals than anyone else from 2023. It's still early in 2024, but you know he wants to make that a back-to-back -back title. It's going to be important for him and Tardio to get the win here, continue this oh, momentum out of the timeout. And that's a good adjustment there from Johnson. He got caught a couple of times on that forehand side. He was standing up, got a little close to the body. This time he gets over, gets that contact point out in front, gets it down to the feet. Got jammed up enough. Beautiful pressure dink from J.W. Johnson cross court. So a successful usage of the timeout so far, getting themselves the side out. Johnson and Frazier now two points away from taking home men's doubles gold medal. Can they finish it off on this service side? Nope. Not if Diescu has anything to say about that. Diescu will not back <laughs> down. That is not in his vocabulary. Oh, short. A little tight right there on the third from Dylan Frazier. Diasco and Tardio, just the definition of never back down, never give up right now. They have been fighting. Never for what? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> well done, though. I'm impressed with you. Such a good adjustment there, but Diascu is feeling it right now. He's going to continue putting the pressure on. He wants the ball right now. He wants every ball. The patience, the poise shown by both those teams, and then Frazier, Johnson, finish it off. I mean, both sides with, 
with the gets to keep him in the point. I ask you, Johnson. That was <sighs> I'm tired. Easily I'm tired watching it. Eighty to Gotta 90. remember to breathe. <laughs> I wasn't. I'm out of breath. That's why you're all red. <laughs> Another chance here to tie things up for Diascu and Tardio, but Tardio can't get the shape on that around the post, so instead it's a side out. That's just very ambitious right there. You just got to stay within, stay in the point. Don't try and do too much. Don't make that or want to try and make that hero shot. Yeah, good spot there from Diascu. Johnson tried to step up, speed that one up, but Diascu already gotten it down toward the feet. And takes that mid shin. Sets in there from Frazier and Johnson weathering the storm of Diascu. Well, Diascu took the first ball and then he tried to clear himself because that ball was past him. Tardio thought he was going to take that. And so now we have a championship point opportunity here for Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson as they try to put this match away. J.W. Johnson, Dylan Frazier showing so much poise, an unreal finish to a fantastic men's pro doubles gold medal match. Frazier, Johnson are your men's doubles gold medalists from here in Delray Beach. We'll hear how they got it done on the other side of this break. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. A typical insurance? You're just another senior. That is the third health insurance commercial with seniors at a farmer's market. Right? Don't get me wrong, I love a fresh heirloom, but it's like those companies think we're all the same. That's why I chose Humana. Before I signed up, I spoke to someone who actually listened to what I needed. She told me about benefits that were right for me, like vision and dental, all in my budget. I finally feel in control. What are you doing? Taking control. <laughs> Humana, a more human way to health care. J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier, Chad, get it done in game three. Well, they made the adjustment in game two as far as taking the initiative to be the aggressors, to speed it up, to really put the pressure on Diasco and Tadio. And you know what? It worked out. We're going to throw it down to A.J. McCord, who's courtside, with our Franklin post-match interview. 
Well, you guys, we were joking that we were pretty tired just watching the dinking rallies, the patience, the poise that you two showed to earn this gold medal. Walk me through the game plan against this other team. Uh, yeah, got to give them a shout out. That match could have gone either way. Um, Andre and Gabe are just such great competitors. Gabe, I'm really impressed with this play at such a young age to be as disciplined as he is and make great decisions all the time. And Andre's just going to stay until the last minute. There's no breathing room with him. Even if we're up 9-4 in the third game, they're going to fight till the very end. Um, looking forward to playing with that guy. We're on the same Major League Pickleball team. Let's go AZ, AZ Drive. Um, but for now, i got to celebrate this one with J-Dub. Thanks to Ken and the APP for putting on another great tournament. It was really good. Um, happy to be here, and it was a great tournament. So much fun to watch you guys play all three of those games. JW, how did you guys pick your spots, pick your moments to pull away? Yeah, we had to be careful because they have uh, great hands. They like to play really aggressive. Um, but eventually we started had to play a little more aggressive because we, we were playing a little more tentative at first. And then once we started playing more aggressive, we were doing better. Understandably so. Congratulations to you two, your men's doubles gold medalist here at the APP Vlasic Classic, Delray Beach. I'll send it back to you in the booth, Chad and Dom. Well, congratulations. Dylan Frazier, J.W. Johnson coming out on top, your men's doubles gold medalist. Chad, they were just, they were, they were incredible. They fought adversity, losing that first one in a heartbreaker 13 11, but bouncing back in games two and three. Well, just like. JW and, and Dylan said that this match could have gone either way. But what they adjusted, the biggest adjustment that they made was that they started to be more aggressive. They were tentative in game one. They needed to insert the speed, insert the pace, and really put the pressure on to be able to come out on top. 